This video is brought to you by Patreon show sponsor, your friend and mine, The Third Era, and his wife, Leslie Arambula. She's an author, a teacher, and an editor. If you need any of your work edited, you should check out her website, lesliearambula.com. I will leave a link in the description below. It's your boy High Five Vega, back again. And this time, we're going to go over SPL tips and tricks. We're going to start with the uh, mic placement, and then we're going to go over how to find your resonant frequency. So uh, buckle up, and let's go. Okay, let's run through the setup real quick. We're going to start with different mic placements. We will start in this zone here. We will try this zone up here. We will try the zone right here, which would be below the, where usually where the rear view goes. We'll try this zone here and this zone here. We're gonna run a sweep at first. We will see where we get the best reading on the sweep. After we do our sweep and get our best reading on whatever position we may be on, we will then try to figure out what frequency that, that's at. So we'll start with the sweep. We'll go to 40 Hertz or so. We've got a sealed subwoofer back here, the sundown. And that will be giving us our reading. So we won't be reading high, but what we're looking for is the best placement of the meter on the windshield in this vehicle. And for this purpose, on this SPL run, everything is sealed up because it's for the old school challenge, but this can apply if you were doing this with the windows down, you wanna try different placements for sure. You wanna try windows up, you might wanna try visors up, visors down, you know, different things like that will help you when you're going outlaw style or you're doing some, some other kind of uh, competition. So I've got my camera set up here and I plan on trying to, I'm gonna capture everything that that does right there. So uh, we'll kind of run through and do a couple quick placements and we'll see where it, how it goes. Position number three yielded the best result. That's just over where the stock rear view mirror goes. Now that we know where to place our mic for this challenge, let's uh, figure out what our resonant frequency is and what I should tune my box to when we want to get serious and try to do some numbers in this challenge. So we're going to go just play test tones from 33 hertz up until we start to lose decibels and see where we peak out at. So we peaked out around 37 to 38 hertz. It's important to remember when we're building this enclosure that we do not port just to that spec because you need a little bit of room when you're building this enclosure for some adjustability on the port when you're going for SPL that is. So I need to keep that in mind when I'm building. I need to build something with an adjustable port. And if you notice a lot of these um, fourth order builds and big round circle ported builds you might wonder yourself why aren't people using slot ports like they used to well the fourth order builds and the big round ports give you some flexibility in your tuning of your port so that's very important when you're going for SPL in particular you want to make sure that you have some sort of tunability and you're not just stuck at a static port tuning frequency that being said 
I'm going to do something in mind, probably with a round port. But who knows? I, I've got two sets of subs that I want to use, so I may do one with a round port and get my tuning just where I need it. And then maybe I'll do the other set of subs with a slot port with that optimized uh, tuning that I get from the single before. But either way, I hope to do great in this challenge. This is just uh, part one of the SPL tips and tricks, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. There will be a part two sometime in the future, and I hope to get uh, my numbers up on the old school SPL challenge boards, more of them anyways. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to the $6 or more members. Alice McCollum, 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, Gene Alva, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Rick Quattlebaum, William Berg, CT Sounds, Byron Shambliss, The Karate Guy, Jason Zemer, Travis McClendon, and Brandon Hanna. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get exclusive Patreon-only content not available on YouTube. If you want to help me out with my goal of reaching one new patron a week, please check me out. Patreon.com slash high five Vega. If you're enjoying this video and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I want to see a little bit more of what High Five Vega does, you should check out my podcast. It's called 12V Talk. We are live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. YouTube.com slash 12V Talk. We're also available as an audio only podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and many more. Oh, oh. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three. Yo, 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 my name is Hi-Fi, and I'm here to say thank you for helping me out in a Patreon sort of way. I'm out.